I know. Did you miss me? I'm calling in a setup. I have a vault, sub basement of my office. It's where I kept my bad babies. Invention's too dangerous for anyone, even my friends. Well, I can't help what I think of. When I was in Monaco, a lovely tax advisor. Somebody cleaned me out. A couple of weeks later, my bad babies, they start turning up. Also, their help. Apparently, it's not too big a jump to see me cutting a hole in my own vault. Really? Now that's the Peggy Carter I need to clear my name. I try not to be. Sometimes it just slips. Oh, come on, Peg. You know darn well I didn't do this. I, I want to find the right guy. And Peg, there's no one I trust more than you. I know they're not using you right over there. My technology in the hands of some nut that wants to be the next Red Skull. Right now? Where are you headed? Some of my babies have already sold overseas. I'm just hitting the market in the next day or two. Just a piece of paper. Molecular nitramine. Technically, well, let's face it. I invented it, so it works. This much would level a city block. Absolutely. But when you're not humiliating him, Edwin Jarvis, I owe you one, pal. And I figured you'd never have any trouble finding a man. Mr. Mink have his minions blackmail you? Uh, Mr. Mink is a greedy black market smuggler, sure. But in his greed. I like predictable. And I like greedy. And I was so close to running the table. Peggy tried on his goulash. Peggy, on push-ups. Howard, you came... Why? Let's get back to my place. We'll have some sherry. Dummy corporation holds the lead. The only people who know about that penthouse besides me and Jarvis are Lana Turner. While you were out gallivanting. I was not gallivanting. The SSR cover all of your residences. You're back. So where can I hide? Ah, how's Miriam? What? I hate small spaces. What if the chain snaps and I fall my death? The dead body is lying rotting in the bottom of a dumbweed. What if I suffocate? If McChair! Just for the record, I didn't... Uh, not to worry. This is my cousin Peggy. Mm. Peggy, Lorraine. My cousin is a lot shorter. A much better look. Grab some sausage, eggs, a couple of Bloody Marys. There's no room going to work. So say what you have to say. I'm bound for Rio in three days. Recovered. Why? If I know what the SSR has obtained, I can determine how many are still on the... Because Jarvis doesn't have one of these. A camera pen. I was expecting a little more enthusiasm. Any idea how long? You don't have to get changed with the door closed. I thought we were friends. You're back. Good. Uh, you know Helen? <laughs> she see Your inventions. Who is that? Oh. Communal dining is one of the joys of residing at the Griffith. Sounds nice. Uh, stay away. Coming! Hey, bring me back some ham. All of my inventions are in your lab. I need you to steal one of them back. Every one of these inventions from my vault can cause large-scale destruction. But this one, this one is. London was antsy about So I created the Blitzkrieg button. Instant citywide blackout. The bombers can't see where to unload. And I couldn't figure out how to turn the lights back on. If that thing is activated in New York, the whole tri-state area will be plunged into the dark. Use it. Well, that's the whole reason I'm here. I'm the only one that can turn it off. This is a mock-up. No one will be the wiser. Since when has the U.S. military ever had a weapon that they didn't use? I'm already considered a traitor, Peggy. Let me be the guy who shut down the greatest city on the planet. What vial? You know how uh, dangerous that could be? Okay, you're angry. I'm just curious. You know. We both know. I don't. Steve Rogers' blood. You used me. You hit me! You don't get to use- I do. I knew how much Steve meant to you because I know how much he means to me.
I was protecting you. Turmoil that you're in, look at you. And I was wrong. But you have to understand, a kid like me doesn't get to where I'm at. I grew up on the Lower East Side. My father sold fruit. My mother sewed shirtwaists for a factory. American ladder without picking up some bad habit. Types of people based on how much money your parents have, your social class. And the only way to break through that ceiling sometimes is to... I shouldn't have lied to you. For that, trust me, I am truly sorry. I was one of the lead scientists on Project Rebirth. Eleven vials went to the government, one vial went to me. The government's almost through their supply. If they know they have mine, they'll never give up. You know, I believe that sample SR-53, that blood, Captain America's... Steve Rogers may not still be with us, but he can still save millions of people. What the hell do you think of me? You're a man who says I love you whilst looking over a woman's shoulder into the mirror. I forgot my pledge running around for you like a corporate spy. So thank you, Howard, for reminding Peggy. I need some fresh air to get away from your stink. Where to? I'll get caught. I thought I'd built up a callus apologizing for you. But this stings. Thank you. What kind of welcome is this? How the hell did you... you know who designed the SSR security system? Exactly. They stink. You should have hired me. You missed me. I could help you with that. Roger Dooley is dead. Ray Krasminski is dead. I know. That's why I came. It's everything there is to know about the Battle of Finnau. Well, you should. Because all those deaths are on me, too. The gas is called midnight oil. Well, not intentionally. Cause symptoms similar to sleep deprivation. Anger, hallucinations, psychosis, samples, my research. All on the orders of General McDay, they dropped it on the Russians to help them take Finn out. And eyes. What those men did to each other, you can't imagine. And you survived? Expect it was Dr. Ovchenko, or, as he's also known, a psychiatrist with a speciality in hypnosis. No. This time I'm taking the risk. This Fenhoff obviously wants to punish me, so... Let's give him what he wants. I'll be the bait. The SSR just needs to set the trap. Well, that's the only way I do it. That's good enough. Hey, Peg, got any powder? I want to cut down the shine. What is that? It's body armor, fuel protection. It's junk. Where's my stuff? This, this is photosensitive. This should be kept in the dark. This is... What are you hoping to accomplish with this ridiculous press conference? There are other ways to get Fenhoff into the open. Name one. No, name three. I trust you to keep me safe. Deeming myself. I have enough... Go through my life not caring what people think of me, but I do care what you think. And after everything you said to me last time, I thought... Howard! But you know and I know that this is my fault. To fix this. Otherwise, I won't be able to live with myself as a hatter. That Howard Stark is innocent. He is a hero. Humbled by his genius, no. No brilliance, humbled by his brilliance. We are anyone who doubts. Get out! Who's got eyes on the shooter? Listen, buddy, stop the car. Whatever Fenoff is paying you, I can double it. All right. It's Rosalind Russell's private number. That is absolutely my final offer. You know I should be afraid for my life. Must be those eyes. Should I? Is it Alex? Every one of them. You'll be perfectly safe. Hmm. Three of them fly themselves. You should see what I got at home. Uh. Don't tell me. Is it Lorraine? All right. It'll come to me. I have had... Midnight oil was not supposed to be a weapon, Dr. Fenhoff. Should never have been used. 
I saw it. Afterwards. I was only sp I am sorry. Look, if you're gonna kill me, go ahead. Leave innocent people out of it. I have no intention of killing you, Mr. Stark. Please. Please don't do this. Yes, of course I do. Mm. Men such as yourself. I am not a bad person. <laughs> you have paid the price as well. Yes. Simply focus. Go back in your mind. Holds your greatest shame and... Mr. Stark! We think it might be Rogers. Howard. Found his signal. I'm gonna bring him home, Peg. Don't you worry about that, Peg. I know this sounds crazy, but that that guy Fenoff, he actually helped me. I'm bringing Cap back, Peg. And I can't do that. There's something up ahead. It's him. I can fix this, Peg. All I've done my whole life is create destruction that brought good into this world. Evidently flying a bat to me once I land. Hey. Well, I thought that was what you would have wanted. No. For future reference, under no circumstance would I want anyone to shoot or otherwise hurt me. You got that? Your point is amply. Ah, oh, you're right, Jarvis. I owe you another one, pal. Until we can find a permanent way of preventing him from speaking. <laughs> Ida. <laughs> That's her name. I know I'd remember. Cut! That's lunch. I thought you should be in pictures, Peg. What do you say? Probably in French called it drunk. I don't think the audience is ready yet. But they're ready for a movie based on a comic book. Sounds like a dreadful idea. I'll have you know this is a hist Sorry I missed you last night. We wrapped late. And Irene Dunn and I wrapped even later. Do you have time to talk about the real world for a moment? Unbelievable. That rift snuffed out an atomic explosion like a match. It's a flick on your hands, Peg. You any idea what could do that? I was hoping you'd have some answers. Well, that kind of power doesn't exist. This could be the greatest find of the century. A target because of the color of his skin. Wilkes was a member. I'm amazed they allowed him to be a member. They keep their ranks male and pale. Please. I'm 116th. For LA Silver Spoon crowd since 1906. The influential, the powerful, the reptilian. I'm not a joiner. Well, there's that too. Well, who is Dottie Underwood? The Russian knockout with the killer back. The hell have you gotten yourself into, Peg? I don't know. Um, please. We have work to do. I am working. They help me think. I'll tell you what they talk about. Buying low, selling high, and gout. Boring. You want something jazzier. Besides, that club is men only, remember? You will have complications. You won't be bored. Hey. How's a good boy? Give that back. Yeah, that martini? It's been about five minutes, minutes before I get it. Perhaps I could render your busy bartender some assistance. Torrance, you've got one hell of a building here. Unfortunately, what you got inside that building is duller than Sunday Mass. <laughs> I'm sure if you met some of the gentlemen, you would have That's a very... the problem. You've got a surplus of gentlemen. Well, I've seen old Ellie's threshold. I believe you've made the right choice. Nope, I've got something different in the arena club, ladies. I'm completely behind the suffragettes. You'll find the lounge through here. Tell me with Terry, then. I might have been a little bit harsh in this place. You're not half bad. Mr. Sark, it's time to go. Actually, your club's terrible and I'm never coming back. Come on, girls. Let's go back to my pool and play water giggles. Well, wow. that's wild. Damn. Should have used the cheap stuff. We get it. So impatient. You're missing the obvious. Anybody? Approximately seven degrees cooler than the rest of the room. That's a constant. A good thing to have. Relax. 
You're not freezing. You're not contaminated with zero matter. Who can tell me how I know this? Jarvis, you have a hypothesis? Excellent. I've got an idea. Filmmaking is an art. It's more than that. It's science. Light in its permanent form. When you capture that, and that's when the developing process comes in. The silver nitrate creates a photosensitive coating onto film. But Jarvis and I have been working on a new chemical solution. Mr. Stocks. If I can pull that off, I'll make a fortune. Another fortune. If it exists, by definition. Ready to give it a go? It's working. Howard, what's happening? Why can't I touch him? You can't touch him any more than you can touch a light out of a projector. He's somewhere outside our visible spectrum. Say, ah. I didn't code his vocal cords. They have enough mass to create an audible frequency. It's not that bad. My formula would create more than a visible presence. I must have fallen short. I don't know. Dr. Wilkes, do you remember what happened to you the other night at uh, Isodyne Energy? Must be wearing off. Right there, we'll, we'll figure this out. And pick up any heavy metal you can find, just in case. I'm from the market, give me some of that cheese I like. You know, what is it, that, uh, that yellow one? Uh, it's quite a spring in your step, Jarvis. You and Peggy make a great team. I can. You just make sure you let me know if I'm gonna need to find myself a new butler. I'm great. But so is she. Improve on my formula, we'll make it permanent, then no, you can't. Get this out for you, Peg. I know how important it is for you. Of course. And he's a good... No, wavelength. Hey, Peg. Stock industry's good. Excellent news. If he regains his corporeal self. We'll get there. Coffee. Who wants a coffee? Maybe Irish coffee. Run me through it one more time. Okay. Peg, you're up. No sleep. Coffee. I'll do that on the plane to Peru. Peru? The country. Jason and I realized we need my old Professor Abner Brody. Unfortunately, he took his brain with him when he... Just till I get back, anything you need, Jarvis is your man. Where's my passport? Dark beyond dark. I gotta say, Doc, it's a big disappointment. Crack opens up in the sky and it's a whole lot of nothing. And it will move on to our world if... What do you mean? Other than that, you're clean of zero matter. Peggy's life's always getting threatened. I'm just saying. Maybe the problem is you. Nothing of it, Doctor. Jarvis, we need mustard. May I ask you a question? Are you in every bedroom? It's a collection. What? Art makes a house a home. Makes a good point, Peg. Why don't you whip up a new containment unit, safely study it in Stark Labs? I'm only trying to help. That stings. Anyway, we've got a bigger problem on our hands. We're out of mustard. Jarvis! Let him put the condiment down. You can't just walk into a man's home and take his butler hostage. Oh, yeah? You can't wear your skivvies in a schpitz. <laughs> hey, come here, you glorious kook. <laughs> You know, Joe, man. He strapped me down so Whitney Frost could. That was wrong. Mea culpa, Doc. Mea culpa. That's why I'm here. I think we all have something in common. You always went for the crazy ones. Jenny Bacabella, she tried to throw you off the 59th Street Bridge. Well, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Manfredi. Save her. The walls. Writing what? I don't know. Formulas or something. Way to do it without an attack. I can't lose her again. What about me? If we're going to end this... You kids are so cute. I bet you crammed for your finals and everything. What do you... The answer is right in front of you. How do the most successful scientists achieve greatness? Part of people to do the research, and then they steal it for themselves. Why don't we just take it from her and be done with it? Well, that's impossible. Nope. Nobody. I win. It didn't even work. The second one did. Nothing better to do. The Shears of God. It's a great name, right, Jar? Who asked you? Gentlemen. She's describing two different four-dimensional space-times. This design is a machine that connects the two. If she weren't a homicidal maniac, I'd be in love with her issues. For example, how do we prevent... Yes, there are many. Surely you can find a way to overcome them. Used gamma rays to keep the zero matter contained. No, we already know they'll close the rift. ...that would throw x-rays at the rift, keeping zero... I like that. We'll need an isolated place to do this. Just give everybody the day off. She'll feel it. I like it. I think it's great. It's good. From a lovely pair of hands. You can call me Howard. All right. He was driving me mad. Hmm. I've attached a Ford converter. Jarvis, Dr. Wilkes, and I will man the gamma cannon. Peggy, J hold on. Let's see what she's got.
Didn't compensate for the win. Jarvis, set me up again. Dr. Wilkes, nobody cares about the long game. Damn! What am I doing wrong, Jarvis? I have a clear shot! Chris! Maybe one of the real- The controllers don't respond. Working on it. The rift is becoming unstable. We need to still recharge it. There is one other option. It's not good. The crank is on the device. That's about the size of it. I built it. Badly, as it turns out. It's my responsibility. Now, let me. Sent back the first time. Well, that's not fair. Is there nothing we can do? I'm thinking. Could we detonate it inside the rift? Sam really took you. People thought that splitting the atom would be the end of the world. Look at us now. Yes, look at us. No matter in the right hands could have launched us a hundred years. I'm sorry, Doc. But I expect to see you in the office, 8 a.m. sharp, come Monday. There's this new project I came up with in Peru. I think it could be big. Swim. You might want to stay inside. Bathing suits cause too much friction drag. Well, the